One star, two star, three star, four star, five star general, five star general. Go hard, grind hard, born hard, bread hard. Five star general, five star general. Yes, oh, what's happening? This is Solo, the five star general. And today we got some more R. Kelly news, obviously. <laughs> and this is courtesy of BBC News, by the way. R. Kelly sex abuse tape given to U.S. authorities. Now, a U.S. man has claimed to have found a videotape allegedly showing R. Kelly sexually abusing underage African American girls. Gary Dennis told reporters that he handed the tape to authorities after discovering it at his house. R. Kelly was charged last month with 10 counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse involving four alleged victims, three of whom were minors. The R&B artist has denied appearing in the video and all other charges. If convicted, he faces three to seven years in prison on each count. Mr. Dennis, a nursing home worker, said he came across the footage while sorting through a box of old videotapes. He played one tape with a recording of a football match after finding it had been labeled R. Kelly. He expected it to have been recorded over with an old concert. Instead, it contained sexual abuse, he alleges. While not going into detail, Mr. Dennis said he saw R. Kelly telling him what to do and what to say, and it appeared that he was in control of the camera. After the discovery, he said he had a moral duty to notify law enforcement and contacted Gloria Allred, a lawyer representing women who claimed to have been sexually abused by R. Kelly. The tape was then turned over to the U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of New York. Ms. Allred and Mr. Dennis had no personal connection to the R&B singer and had no idea how or when he came to possess the videotape, adding that friends had given him tapes of sporting events in the past. She said the tape appears to show a separate incident from those previously attributed to R. Kelly, but conceded that she could not be 100% certain that the man on the tape was him. The doubt here is self-evident, said Steve Greenberg, R. Kelly's lawyer. It is not him. The larger question is what the authorities are doing about the dentist's possession of what they believe is child pornography in their tape collection. <laughs> it's crazy. <clears throat> It is irresponsible to continue to take the speculation of every Tom, Dick, and Harry and, and report it as if it is fact. It is obviously now just open season on R. Kelly, Mr. Greenberg continued. R. Kelly was taken into custody on Wednesday after failing to pay 161000 in child support to his former wife, Andrea Kelly, and their three children. He was released on Friday after paying the debt. Earlier this month, he gave an explosive interview with CBS This Morning where he, where he tearfully and angrily denied the allegations against him. I did not do this stuff. This is not me, he said, adding that he is fighting for my life. <sighs> yeah, he's fighting for his life, but he fucking put himself in this situation. Like, come on, man. You know what the fuck it is. Like, you've been... You've been a pervert for years. They just man the fuck up and say, you know what I mean, I did this shit, but uh, I, I, I need some type of uh, program or something. That's, that's what all that's what all y'all do anyway. All the pedophiles do that shit. But once y'all get upstate and into the state prisons, they got something for you. So, or you be in PC anyway. You, you definitely lock in. They're going to keep you separated from everybody. They got no motherfuckers got something for you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Do you think that uh, this tape is him? Do you think people are just out to get him? Do you think pe now people are trying to cash in and everybody? I mean, I think it's a little bit of both. You get dirtball motherfuckers that want to cash in and exploit other people just to get a buck up. and But... <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, you can't say that about everybody either. Some people are just good-hearted people that he, maybe he really did feel he had a moral obligation. So, um, anyway, let me know what you think. And I also want, I'm also interested to see how many people are still going to listen to people like R. Kelly and Michael Jackson, who supposedly did the things that they did. I mean, maybe you don't believe they did what they did, but if you do believe that they did those things, would you still listen to them? Or even people like Takashi. 
Because I know, like, I'm saying from personal, you know, like, I, I won't fuck with any any of them from now on. Just because of my personal views. I could never be riding around bumping Takashi or riding around listening to R. Kelly. I would just feel like a pedophile and a rat. <laughs> but uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Support us at 5 com. Please, please stay sucker free. Peace and blessings to all y'all. One. War ain't about who's right. Sometimes it's about who's left.